Afternoon, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. I've got a prototype here of the brand new 10 inch Pathfinder skillet. Same exact design as our one of our best selling stainless steel items skillet, except this is 10 inches in diameter. So it gives you more of a family size skillet. I just bought these cozies off of Amazon and they work really good for this skillet. Just slide them over the lid and I just leave mine on there on the shelf. I have not cooked a single thing in this yet. We're gonna christen it today with sausage and potatoes. Make us a nice little fry up for breakfast. Stay with me guys. Right, got this thing greased up really good. With just basic lard. And now, I'm gonna heat this bad boy up. And I mean, I'm gonna heat it up. You can see it's starting to get smoke heat now. We'll put some more lard in that bad boy. I want the whole bottom of this thing full of lard when I'm done. Start smoking, I'm gonna roll it around again. All right, there's no more oil that'll roll around that thing. So it's gonna go out now about any minute. Let's blow it out. Let her sit for a minute and cool down. I right, now just poured some water in here. That's pretty much gonna glaze that skillet. Yeah, I'm gonna take a scrub brush. Scrub that dude down a little bit, just like this, just to get the rough stuff off of it. Right, step one, potatoes. Slicing these things about an eighth of an inch. Cut them onions across the grain. Go into smaller chunks faster that way. Okay. Now you get this. Next thing we're going to need is some bratwurst. And I've got just Johnsonville brats here. These will work just fine. I take some of these brats and we're going to just cut them bad boys just like this they're gonna be a little soft in the middle that's for sure because they got stuffed into a casing there don't worry about that and we're gonna put the sausage in first a couple onions fall in there at the same time it ain't no big deal all right so all we're doing right now is just coating a little bit of grease on this pan. That's the main reason for starting with the sausage. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some potatoes in there. All right, lift him up, give it a stir here. All right, it's been near about six minutes since we put these potatoes in here. Stir that stuff around. Now 
Now, I have some onion. All right. So in a couple minutes, we're going to come in here and stir him up. You can see nothing sticking to the bottom of that skillet at all. All right. Back in here. Stir him up. Or just go around, we're gonna put some seasoned peppers in there. Give that thing a little kick. Go back after the stirring. Look at that. Perfectly clean skillet. Nothing sticking. All right, we'll just use that same skillet and scramble us up a couple eggs real quick. All right, drop them eggs right in there. Just like that, right in the middle of all that. Good, good. Minimal, minimal stuff sticking on here. Stuff on the outside where I wasn't turning it as far as the eggs go. Simple cleanup. We'll talk about that too. All right, guys. We'll shovel some of this stuff on the plate. We got us a B&J's craft root beer here to go with it. I got a little beer mustard here I thought might be good with it too. But uh, I want to give some of this a shot without. Oh, yeah. Woo, that ain't that good. Golly. Kidding? Mm, mm, mm. Wow. That like needs nothing. Nothing to be awesome. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Sausage cation sticking together now. Mm, mm, mm. Golly. I'm going to have this all over my face. This damn thing's so good. Golly. So we got a dirty skillet over here. What are we gonna do about that? Well, I'm gonna take a little bit of this dishwater. This is just bleachy water that I've been washing dishes in all day. We'll pour it in. Then I'm going to get my burner back on. A heat hot enough to boil that water. Okay, once I start to see bubbles in that skillet, I'm just gonna come in here with a brush and I'm gonna brush it just exactly like I would do cast iron, pretty much. Of course, I don't want that stuff splashing up on me. It's hot. So I'm being careful about it. I'm going to dump some of the water out. Leave myself a little left to go on here. And just keep scrubbing that thing with hot bleachy water. Then I'm gonna put it on to dry out. Guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me out for a quick video on kind of how to throw together a, a breakfast dinner type skillet with mainly breakfast material, but you can eat this thing any time of the day, especially in camp. And it's not hard to fix. And it doesn't take a long period of time, probably 20 minutes or less from start to finish on this bad boy. But anyway, I appreciate your views and I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for school, for family, for our business. All of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video in this series as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.